Hey! Why do people keep coming through my door? Hey man, don't know if you know, but it's actually Halloween. I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come over with me and the boys. We were gonna watch some gory horror movies, maybe play some oiled up twister, you know? You wanna come with? Oh no, he's gonna find out that I don't like gory horror movies. I can't let him know. If he finds out, he might think I'm a, a, a pussy. No? No! What do you mean, no? Why not? Oh, I have to use the restroom. So you're telling me the entirety of Halloween you're gonna be spending in the bathroom? No? Dude, if it's about the oiled up twister, I mean, we could take out the oil, you know, maybe we could play some strip Jenga or something instead. Are you crazy? I love twister with you guys. Well, what the hell's your problem? N nothing. There, there's no I problem. Come on, man, the tell. boys! I can't. Oiled up I twister. can't tell. With the boys! There's not, man. there's nothing wrong. I mean, it's not really this. Okay, fine. I don't really want to watch gory movies, okay? All right, I said it. That's it? You just don't want to watch a gory movie? Oh, well, thank God, dude. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I it was freaking out a little bit. You know, I thought you were gonna, you know, make it a big deal or something like no, that. No, 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 it's fine. I get it, I get it. You're a pussy. No, 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 I, I like horror movies, you know, I just don't like the blood, the, the gore, and the guts, you know? It, it, no, I, no, man, you're a pussy. Straight up. I watch Martyrs for breakfast, and then Serbian film for dinner, and you can't handle a little bit of gore? I mean, sure, that's great, but, like, what's wrong with me not enjoying- And I watch Cannibal Holocaust every time before I go to bed, and you can't handle just a little bit of gore? That seems a little strange to brag about that, but I right. walk around telling everyone I'm a psychopath because these movies don't bother me at all. No emotional response whatsoever. Okay, now I'm actually starting to get concerned for you. I look at pictures of dead bodies for amusement. So you going to the party? As long as we get to do Twister. Hell yeah. Hey. So it's Halloween's or the day before, or I don't know when I'm posting this. And I know a lot of you are like, hey, review this horror movie, review this horror movie, review that horror movie, and I am here to tell you all that I am a bitch. I'm a bitch in a specific way. See, I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to the horror genre, especially when it comes to movies. I feel like I could thoroughly enjoy, say, like, a horror manga, a horror comic, or maybe a horror novel. But when it comes to horror movies, I tend to have a lot of issues with them. And I mean, the obvious one is notoriously horror movies are written poorly. Now, before everyone starts ripping me up in the comment section, I don't mean all horror movies are written poorly. I mean, that is probably the biggest genre when it comes to not really caring that much about the writing of the movie and caring more about having your audience go, whoa, 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 oh, oh. That's how normal people react when they get scared. And I do have my fair share of horror movies that I do actually enjoy. But I tend to stick to the psychological thriller uh, subgenre of horror movies because I feel like those movies tend to have better writing. There's less goofy uh, jump scares and more importantly for myself less gore and i feel like that is one of the big reasons why i tend to not watch horror movies and instead just go over to a review of the movie and then kind of get a general synopsis of what the movie is actually about because sometimes these horror movies do intrigue my interest but at the same time i don't want to ruin my appetite now, i'm making this video because i feel like there's always a weird stigma whenever someone says they don't like horror movies or they don't like gore you know people just hit you with the classic oh you're just a bitch you just can't handle a little gore what are you a baby and no, it's not necessarily that I'm baby or that I'm even scared by the gore. It's more of the fact that I have a sensitive stomach and gross stuff makes me nauseous. And I feel like it doesn't go beyond that whatsoever. And you know, there is the bad writing element, which I tend to have an issue with horror movies here and there. But at the same time, that's another reason why they're so beloved is because the bad writing of horror movies make it more entertaining to watch a lot of times. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of fantastic, greatly written horror movies, but I'm saying there's a lot of little stinkers out there that are just made for people to get together and laugh at how absolutely ridiculous the horror movies are. And I'm, you know, I, I get that, you know, I'm with that. I even watch shit like that. Pancakes, pancakes. No 
pancakes. But throughout the Halloween season, I didn't really watch many horror movies, if you will. Surprising to know, I did actually watch a lot of horror movies when I was younger because my parents tended to watch a lot of horror movies and I ended up being, you know, on the sidelines watching those movies as well. Was that a great idea for the younger brain of mine? Probably not, but you know, did I have nightmares for multiple weeks on end because of those horror movies? Yeah, but hey, it happened. <laughs> But at the same time, there is a part of me that wants to delve into the horror genre a little bit here and there, because a lot of times I hear a movie that is a horror movie and I get very interested in what the movie is about. Like, say it has a really cool concept or the monsters in it seem really interesting or something like that. But then I find out that it's just full of organs, eyeballs popping out of people's heads and and poop. A lot of poop. Okay, maybe there's not many horror movies with poop, but I don't know because I don't watch that many. But also, I feel like another element to it, which a lot of people might find weird, is I don't really uh, enjoy live action movies that much. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of live action movies that I do enjoy, but uh, lately, it just seems like I'm more interested in animated movies. And I feel like when it comes to animated gore, for example, I can digest that way better than when it comes to practical effects or real life gore elements. Like there are loads and loads of gory anime I've watched through the entirety of, and, I, and it didn't bother me in the slightest. And I mean, honestly, I think I'm just a, a little baby squeamish guy. I mean, as a man who passed out during his wife's C-section, yeah, I'm a squeamish guy. <laughs> Yeah, so I want you guys to list your favorite horror movies below that don't have much gore in them. I want that to be the challenge. Find a fantastic horror movie with little to no gore in it whatsoever. So then maybe I might delve into it and kind of tiptoe my way into the realm of horror. And all those assholes flexing their gore threshold and forcing their friends to watch horrible, gory movies and having them throw up and get nauseous. Not cool, man. That's not cool. Have a good Halloween. Bye-bye.